So Ogre Magi, Snapfire, IG, they go they go to the Morphling. Something I was saying was more of a viable pick here without the Ancient Apparition. And, and you know, now you're going to have the Bloodlust. Right now you could turn into the Legion Commander and, you know, give yourself press the attack as well with the Bloodlust. And they're going to pick up the Faceless Void. This is a combination that, you know, I was saying could counter IG if they wanted to go to the Faceless Void due to the fact that they have this Ogre Magi. But this combination... We didn't say it, yesterday. We watched tier three, tier four Dota on my on on my stream of, of the Chinese region. They couldn't make this combination work. I have a lot more faith in execution here for Vici Gaming, where they're gonna make the Faceless Void Phoenix combo. With, you know, the the Chronosphere with the Supernova on the side work out really well. And if you get multiple heroes inside the Chronosphere, you throw that Chain Frost in, and you've got so much being thrown in terms of team fight here for Vici Gaming. So IG now, you know, they're looking, uh, potentially this Morphling could be mid, but, you know, it looks like they're looking for an off laner and a, a mid laner with Morphling going into the safe lane. Use a lot of this reserve time and they go Sand King. So they'll pick up that off laner, they'll pick up JT's hero, and he's a very very good sand king player this gives you more lockdown to work with you know you'll have the burrow strike you'll have the adaptive strike and the and the fire blast and the fire snap cookie vici gaming their lockdown more reliant on team fight and and and, and their ulties with with the chronosphere as well as the duel and the sinister gaze and supernova actually getting off like this is a little bit more difficult where i'd say that Vici Gaming, their mid, I'd like to see have a bit of lockdown. I could see an Ember coming in. I feel like Ember's been very popular recently. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Vici during the We Save went with Void Spirit mid Dyer and they went with pink. the Medusa mid in their 2 0 over E Home and then against LGD. Uh, you know, they did something a little bit different. They went Ursa mid and Void Spirit mid as well as throwing that Razor mid. And maybe we see, you know, you don't want to give up that Razor. Potentially, if you get that static link, the Morphling just remaining. morphs into the Razor and gets even more damage to throw your way with the Bloodlust. So IG, they go Lena. They've got themselves yet another stun. They've got burst damage now. Their lockdown's very good here on IG. seconds remaining puck. you may now select your hero now they go puck so movement lockdown silences just trying to open up some space here see what IG can do in this matchup I like IG's combination.
So, Ori on the pocket. Eurus on the faceless void. As well as DY on the Lich, Yang on the Legion Commander, PYW on the Phoenix. And then for the side of IG, you've got yourself the Lena, Sand King, Morphling, as well as the Ogre and the Snapfire with Emo on the Lena, JT on the Sand King, Flyfly on the Morphling, Ori on the Ogre, uh, Ali on the Ogre Magi, and Kaka playing that Snapfire. Gotta turn the settings on. Get that little bit of lag in the beginning. So it looks like we're ready to go here. This should be a good one. Again, this is, you know, the top teams coming in from China up against each other. And Vici here on the Radiant side, IG on the Dire. I want to see how they play this. Again, I was thinking about the early harassment coming in from the Lich with that Frost Blast. If he goes for that first, if they want to play the lane aggressively, you know, going with Frost Blast, you know, two, I think it's like a 2-1 to start on Frost Blast as well as the Frost Shield. And this is the setup I was talking about over bottom. You throw two supports in. You look for three heroes to come over into a lane that you think you've got potential to get a kill in. And they're doing it over top here for the side of Vici as well. And they're going to come and try and get this Morphling. Morphling heavy into the Agi. He's an easy kill with 420 max health. So if he steps too far out, he could be in a lot of trouble. And that, that's really just your cue to kind of stick away from this. Meanwhile, Puck... Does get spotted. Ori uh, getting baited a little bit. The illusory orb is here. They will get it to go down, and well, that's it. They won't get the kill, and they'll go back towards getting these bottom bounty runes. For a second, it looked like maybe they'd go for something. They had the fire blast ready to go, as well as the burrow strike, but once the illusory orb was out, I don't think they thought they had the lockdown to keep him close and get that kill. You know, compared to the Chinese Dota Pro Association, this tournament is worth $210,000 American prize pool. 1.5 million Chinese. Uh, I forget what the uh, currency is called over there. You'd think I'd know something like that. Let's see, Kaka here with JT. I really do like this combination. You know, especially with a, a Burrow Strike into a Fire Snap cookie, but early on with, say, one. Thank you very much. Yen? You see, now I'm getting two different answers, and I can't believe you guys. But we'll see what Kaka does. Again, Frost Blast should be level one here for Lich, and it is. They've got themselves an Observer. Does Lich have a Sentry? He does have one on its way soon. And Kaka here preemptively with his own OBS and Sentry. And goes level one into Little Shredder. So, you know, into that little shredder early, it's that attack slow per stack, which is always nice. We'll make this lane a little bit harder here for Eurus on the right clicks. But now waiting on that scatter blast, potentially that fire snap cookie to get that continued lockdown there with the burrow strike. Both are the same? All right. Well, that's my American education for you. So for right now, Vici in both lanes, or really in all lanes, doing really well in terms of CS. 7 1 right now for the Faceless Void, 7 0 here for the Legion Commander. Meanwhile, JT, he's got Burrow Strike. He's not dealing with, say, the Caustic Finale or anything, or going into the stands Sandstorm. So and it's tough times so far for IG in lanes. So I now have level 2 here on the Lich, as well as the Faceless Void. A couple creeps away for IG. We take a look over towards top. Ollie trying to make sure that they're unable to get this pull. They'll throw the fire blast out at Yang. Creeps will go by. As well as unable to stack that camp. A lot of damage being done here on a Fly Fly. Fly Fly at one point when he was playing for King Gaming, and I do want to take a look. He's 18 now. That's the lowest I think I've ever seen him. 
And I wonder if that's due to maybe not playing recently or... I have no idea. Or just going on a, a bit of a, a bad streak. But at one point when he was playing for Keen Gaming, and I think as well when he was playing for Team Serenity, he was rank 1. So, emo over mid, doing a lot of damage here on Ori. will force out that salve. Ori's got another one ready to go, and as does Emo, so he's sitting rearing and ready and phase shift to avoid the Dragon Slave. Emo, in terms of his mana region, has two mangoes to work with here. Also has one little talisman going into the bottle next to try and control those runes. We'll see what he's able to accomplish within this lane, and he is 14 and 6 now to the 10 or 11 and 4 of the puck. is into the frost blast as well as the frost shield here for the lich no surprise right now kaka just pushing away the lich getting close here to level three while yuris is already on it fly fly dealing with this level one in the bloodlust one mango remaining here for the ogre magi fly fly sitting at level three for the moment Fly just kind of dragging this creep wave over and behind the tower. So Ori versus Emo is definitely one of those cool matchups that we're going to see. I think Emo is a a very new mid in the eyes of many. While well, Ori's been in, in the scene for so long and he has been very strong within the scene as well. PYW coming over towards mid. He's got Icarus Dive as well as two of the Fire Spirits. They're going to look to get a kill here on Alina. They don't have Lockdown to deal with and... Well, it looks from there that PYW will back off. Ollie, meanwhile, in between the tier one and the tier two, just near these creeps, potentially in a bad spot. But again, just no way to stop this TP, so he'll be fine. And Yuris loses that courier. We'll take away the courier here from Paparazzi. Burrow Strike comes in. JT now sent with two of the Burrow Strike and two in the Sandstorm. Meanwhile, the Snapfire going the 1 1 1 build in these first three levels. So things very calm in the early goings of this matchup, which I would say is certainly. A bit of a shock here early on. It's seemingly a lot more aggressive from the Chinese region, but for right now, at least, it's been uh, very calm to start this off. Fire Blast comes in as well as the Icarus Dive and some Fire Spirits on to Ali. Fly, fly. He goes south of the trees, trying to get a kill here on a PYW. The Adaptive Strike as well as the Waveform, they'll get first blood, and now Fly, fly. Going into the strength, they'll get the lockdown out onto the Legion Commander. Yang trying to run away. Ali on with Fly Fly to try and get this kill, but they give up going for it as DY TPing into the outpost that has not yet been recovered by the dire side of IG. So they get the first blood there. Continuing to be up in front right now, well, at least in terms of CS, is Emo. Zero forward as well as the waning rift. They do have Dream Coil to work with. They'll drop it down here onto this Lina, who doesn't have enough mana for the Laguna Blade. And the Fire Snap Cookie comes in with the Illusory Orb over onto Emo to get themselves at least one. PYW sitting low, but Kaka unable to do the damage to at least trade, so they lose their mid. So, even at one so far. Now JT getting top of the CS. But a couple of these, just some neutral creeps as Eurus. He's at level 6. Time dilation. Might even commit the chrono to this one. If he feels like he might not get the kill. He just needs one bash to really lock this down. And, and he will commit the chrono. So... They do get the kill there on a JT. PYW gets credit for that one. I think Yuris was trying to be as greedy as possible holding on to that and ultimately ends up just wanting to go. And 
overwhelming odds on top of Fly Fly. He's got himself Power Treads as well as two Wraith Bands. Going into the wand, Kaka sitting over towards mid as Emo now into the jungle. He's got that early Keen Optic to work with. Looking for the Yules, Trusty Shovel ends up dropping. Ollie has come towards bottom, but Ori is here with the Dream Coil, so... Now they've got the silence, though. I have Emo rotate over to maybe help out. Burl Strike hits on it, too, as well as the Fire Blast. They've got the LSA with the Laguna Blade. Can they get the kill on a Yuris? No, they can't. They leave him alive. He had a sliver of health. Got the time walk off. They do end up getting the kill on a Ori, so they trade Ollie for Ori, which is okay here for IG. Damage. Now they'll start to pressure the Tier 1 tower, but they've got a rotation now coming in. From the Lich. He's got two into the Frost Blast, one into the Frost Shield, and one into the Sinister Gaze. Meanwhile, you know, you've got Fly Fly continuing to farm up. He's sitting level six. Happy with his farm so far. Happy to sit top of the net worth. I don't have Chrono for another minute. Frost Blast comes in, first hit bash, second hit bash. Fire Blast comes in, but you get bashed twice. You're almost always dead as a support up against a faceless void this early on. And it's an easy kill there for Vici. Yang now level 6 has dual available. Wi-Fi backs off the lane for a moment. And again, PYW TPing in. They are still yet to try and take back this outpost they'll get the one over towards bottom but it's a bit of a surprise that they continue to just allow this to to stay this way it feels like it's very detrimental to fly fly who now is dealing with three heroes here under the tier one tower finally they get a rotation out the dream coil ends up getting committed emo comes over can he help out he misses the lsa they're doing a lot of damage on a fly fly but the dream coil finally fizzles out emo taking a lot as he's now hit with the duel, the loser orb comes in, and it's just the lack of rotations coming out. They don't have the ability to go to the outpost. They don't TP to the tier one. They've got themselves the fire snap cookie as well as the fire bus. But Fly Fly, he's dying to neutral creeps. He dies to a trusty shovel neutral creep. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. For the dead. What? This will do I didn't think they were gonna get Fly Fly. Must have gone heavy into the Agi and then died to a trusty shovel neutral creep. That. I... Man, I don't know. I I'm having comprehension problems right now. I'll have to take a look back at that in a second. Really don't want to rewind to get out of the ebb and flow of this game right now. But Fly Fly, he'll shift over towards bottom. You see that Yuris is currently sitting ahead in terms of levels, and he does have the Chronosphere that he faints twice. That's the difference in terms of not only net worth, but experience it's actually favoring right now Vici in both areas. Try to go for this tier 1 tower. TP out from the Lich as they take the tier 1 tower over top. Yang gets credit for that one. They'll give up this tier 1 bottom. So far just 5 to 3. Skirmishes really haven't opened up just yet. More pressure coming out through mid. You've got Uri into the Veil as well as one Null Talisman. DY in here, level 6. He's got Chain Frost available. The two supports, 6 and 4, so... It's, you know, supports lacking in terms of experience right now for IG. You don't have anything really on Ollie. But you do have the Mortimer's Kisses available. That could disrupt, potentially, a Chronosphere that comes in from Uris. Emo, who originally had this Yules queued up to start, goes into the Boots of Travel. Finally. 
feels like it's been forever since this has just been an outpost here for the Radiant side. They've been conceding it the entire game up to this point. Potentially be a, a bit of a problem here. You know, just with the fact that Ollie really isn't finding much experience and compared to the Lich he is still two levels down and then Phoenix here in the four spot compared to the Sapphire ahead by a little bit not a big difference there but we'll see if it becomes much of a hindrance for the side of IG Wi-Fi no longer sitting top of the net worth as we've got Faceless Void who's into this maelstrom going into the Mjolnir next Uris sitting at 6,000 just about and they will smoke. They do have Chronosphere available, so they'll try to head over towards top. But meanwhile, take a look over at Yang. Overwhelming odds as well as press the attack used. Yang trying to survive. They no longer have the Mortimer's Kisses. They're starting to rotate here with the smoke. JT goes into the trees, and I wonder if they're still going to go and jump forward. They've got these three heroes smoked behind Ori. Illusion showing towards mid. But no commitment from IG just yet. As they wrap all the way out and around. Smoke about to wear out. Time walk forward. Illusory Orb comes in. Ollie as well as Kaka need to back off from this as JT within the neutral camp, camp over to the right end of this tower. But they're starting to group up here on the side of IG. They look for the Chronosphere as well as the Dream Coil coming down. That hits on two. Supernova comes in. And they are going to go through DY. But they lose Emo. JT, he gets in. Viz, Supernova gets the stun on the three of these heroes. They've got the duel out on the JT. It looks like they're going to get themselves another victory. Now PYW ends up falling. The damage coming in on the Ollie. The LSA gets thrown from Emo. We'll ball back into this fight. They look over at Yang. They'll give the chase. Fly, fly. The damage is there with the waveform as well as the adaptive strike coming in. Not before they get the kill on the Ollie. Ooh, overwhelming odds thrown, I believe, from the Morphling. Yang's still on the run somehow. He's made enough distance to get away from this IG side, but that's maybe a little preemptive on my part. Overwhelming odds, get these neutral creeps over. Fi Fi and Nemo continuing to give chase. Dragon Slave and Fi Fi hitting away. How far are you willing to go for this? Now you've got Yuris nearby. The Laguna Blade gets committed to this. Fire Snap Cookie misses on the time walking faceless Void who gets out of this. Time dilation. Now the Accursed Dive forward. A lot of damage on a Yuris as well as PYW throwing some spirits over on a Emo as well as Kaka. Kaka commits to the TP. One shot. Bash? No, not going to get it. Now IG, they're the ones who need to exit. You've got Ori coming over with the Dream Coil available in just seven seconds. The Veil as well as the Waning Rift. They've got the Silence onto the Morphling with Lich coming over. All he needs really is a Sinister Gaze to pull him in, and then they'll have the Dream Coil to drop on top of him, and that's exactly what they'll get. Morphling morphing into the Strength, trying to survive for as long as he can. He doesn't have any help coming in from the side of IG, and now he's silenced with the Waning Rift once again. The Chain Frost dropped on top of him, doesn't bounce anywhere. It won't matter as DY with the Frost Blast gets the kill on a Fly Fly. A long chase indeed to get this Morphling. But eventually, it does work out. So, Emo did buy back within that whole string of whatever that really became. And that was really what they needed, was just the Sinister Gaze to get that time for Dream Quill to come off cooldown. In level 1, it's only 70 seconds. It's really not that long. Up again. And they were able to lock down this Morphling and continue to just make this game that much harder here for Fly Fly for the moment. Four man smoke over through mid. Did they catch vision of that? I did have a ward. I, yeah, I believe they did. So this is all without Emo, who's over bottom, continuing to farm. But they look over. Can they get the kill here on the Urus? They've got themselves the stun. The fire boss comes in, as well as the adaptive strike. Do they have the damage? They will! Four-man smoke works out in their favor to get the kill here on to Urus. That's a big one to grab. As they do take Dyer's out the Faceless Void, and he's gone for 40 seconds. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Radiant structures are fortified. Mr. Gaze. Scatter Blast, DY. Get the Dream Coil coming in from Ori just for this snap fire. Yang coming over and they're leaving him alive for the dual damage. That's for your impertinence. So no surprise there. Epicenter right on top of this Phoenix. They get the kill. 
now Yang coming over. He doesn't have the duel, but they do have the Chronosphere to work with. Fly Fly trying to get away, and he will get out of range. They time walk forward. Time dilation comes through, and there it is. 11 kills now here for Vici, but the net worth is still sitting pretty close to even. We've got Fly Fly, who's about a thousand behind this faceless void. He went into the Maelstrom, now going for the BKB. Lena, meanwhile, has enough gold to finish off the Yules. The epicenter gets committed on that. That's on cooldown for another 75 seconds. And with the Yules coming over. And there it is, finished off. Hype early for the Legion Commander. Next into the Morbid Mask, Spirit Vessel for the Phoenix. They've got a four-man smoke as well as the Invis rune being picked up. Yuris going to move forward. They just need to find Yuris, and he's silenced and a lot of trouble. The Dream Core comes in. They get the kill without using the Chronosphere. This is a big one here for Vici as they take out two. Don't have to commit the Chronosphere. That's huge for the side of Vici. Now that leaves them available to have that Chronosphere to work with. In the next fight, now JT, he's in trouble once again. They've got the duel as well as the sounds coming from the Waning Rift. The Illusory Orb comes in, and the duel lasting long enough for even more duel damage here for Yang. On a 48 duel damage, four duel victories. And, well, IG starting to fall further and further behind. Moving around the map really well right now is VG and IG. They're waiting a long time. They need Fly Fly to get into this Lincoln Sphere. They're looking Kaya here on Alina, who's top of the net worth for the Dire side by 13, 1400 gold over the Morphling, who really hasn't been able to do much. We saw him give chase, and you know, the damage wasn't exactly there in that fight that migrated from mid to bottom. And it looks as though they're just going to give up this tier 2 over top. They're going to go for a tier 2 bottom, so try to trade some towers here. Machine gun of Emo. It's the finishing blow. Dyer's top tower is under attack. This will do nicely. Or are you getting away? Now he's going into the Ags. Make that Dream Coil that much stronger. They finally have the Lincoln Sphere available on the Morphling. We'll see how much that's really going to matter at the end of the day. Lincoln's doesn't matter if you're caught in the Chronosphere. they're trying to do right now is keep fly fly keep ggg alive and continuing to farm four years trying to make some space here for one seemingly the plan for ig meanwhile vici i mean they're looking to stay aggressive got the bkb available now on Yuris. he's gonna go back and grab that mjolnir next again they still have this chronosphere to work with they still have the Radiance top Big ult. They have everything really to just drop on a fly fly if he really does show his face. And well, he's heavy in the agent. Yeah, the Chronosphere comes in. He starts to morph into the strength, so he will survive through this for the most part. They also have themselves the outpost nearby. Wave for him over. Now they've got themselves the first hit bash. Time off the wave. The epicenter comes in as well as the burrow strike. That's going to be out on a Eurus. The chain frost doesn't bounce anywhere. JT taking a lot of damage with the sunray on top of him as well as the duel coming in from Yang. Mortimer's kisses really won't do anything with the BKB pop by Eurus. Ali and Kaka might be next to follow, and they should be next to follow. They look over at the Ogre Magi. He's trying to run, but they've got DY right next to him, as well as four heroes here ready to get some kills. Scatterblast says press the attack, purges off the stun on that. Fire snap cookie and a double kill here for Eurus. A three for nil in the favor of Vici. So 17 to 9. 3,000 net worth lead here for Vici. Dyer's bottom tower. 
is under attack. Wi-Fi saved himself up a thousand gold, but still sitting a thousand behind this faceless void. He's getting that much stronger. Ooh, Ori. Ooh. Taking out the Morphling single-handedly, and, and yeah, that's a big one to grab. Shut down that Morphling even longer, and that's just a huge problem that they've been dealing with is the continual shutdown of this Morphling dead for the fourth time. Chase looking for Kaka. He gets away with that Glimmer Cape. Now the pressure comes in over mid. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. IG really just have to wait until Morphling's back alive. That means they're conceding this tier 2 tower at least. No Chronosphere up for 36 seconds. It's 18 to 9 with 5,000 net worth lead for V as they leave this tier 2 tower alone. Or leave this tier 2 tower destroyed. No smoke off this. Their priority target is the Faceless Void. In terms of vision, they really don't have much to play with. Emo comes over and will have the Yules. But the Waning Rift comes in. That'll stop the stun from being thrown. Now they've got a two-man dream coil dropped on these two heroes. So IG the aggressors. Ichi escape unscathed. And no real surprise, too. You know, the, the fact that we see how well Uri is playing is one of, if not the best mid in the Chinese region at the moment. Makes it really look so damn easy. And there's the Mjolnir picked up by the Faceless Void as well as the Blink Tiger, so they have a gap closer on the Legion Commander where they can blink and get some lockdown with the duel. Not that they didn't have that already with the time walk into a Chronosphere or an Illusory Orb over with a Dream Coil, Icarus Dive, like a Clumsy Net on the Phoenix. They have abilities to really close the gap. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's bottom tier two attack. gets some pressure felt. As Vici move in and bottom, and uh, you've now got this Ags finished off on the puck, so. BKB's taking a big, a bit of a hit here on uh, IG. Sinister Gaze as well as the Frost Blast. You look to go and get Ollie as they've got the Spirit Vessel, Chain Frost coming through, and they commit quite a bit there for uh, just an ogre, but they do get the kill. Okay, Mortimer's Kiss is coming in. Meanwhile, Dream Coil down onto JT. I'm not really certain about the Mortimer's Kisses in that spot. With the boots travel, Emo, he'll put some pressure in over top. See if he can get anybody to rotate back and he at least gets Ori over. They don't end up getting the tier 2 tower top while Vici get the tier 2 bottom. So no more outer towers remain here for the side of IG. They're continuing to fall further and further behind as it's been a slow game here so far for Fly Fly. Doesn't feel like he's really getting anything going on this Morphling up to this point. Got everything but Chain Frost available for another 8 seconds. Ollie comes forward, fly fly behind him, and just another easy kill there onto the Ogre Magi. Walks up onto the high ground where he was killed last time, and that felt like a bit of an odd move there, moving and committing to that, but the BKB gets committed. They've got themselves the LSA as well as the BKB popped by Emo. The Laguna Blade comes in onto the puck, but it's not enough to get the kill. They've got the duel as well as the right-click damage to get Emo killed off. Sinister Gaze again! Ollie caught out, and they've got no Lena. For 90 seconds. Buyback available, just short the gold. Oh, 
go on to the high ground, still holding this chronosphere. Not even backing off four road. Please take this set of racks over mid. Still 36 seconds without this Lena. Ags picked up on the Morphling. get anything going here as on Vici they'll back up for Roche. Satanic soon to be finished for the Faceless Void. Lena did for another five seconds. There's no real way that they could get into this pit before they get themselves the first Roche of the game. They'd be tricking themselves if they thought otherwise. They still think they can wrap around near the pit. Pro Strike comes in from the Morphling onto the back lines. Looks over at PYW. They've got the Dust fly fly now in No Man's Land. Mortimer's kiss has come through. Chronosphere was used up high and GG before the fight even ends. Wow. Pro Strike comes in and IG tap out. So, odd way to end that game, that's for sure. 24 to 10 in favor of Vici. I mean, they really didn't struggle that entire time. Things looked okay for IG in the laning phase, but other than that, it looked, and the graph will tell you as well, not clean. And not together, that's for sure. Hurus goes 7, 1, and 10. Yang goes 4, 2, and 11. You've got PYW who did a great job getting into that spirit vessel early. 4, 5, and 14 for the Phoenix. And Ori who just played out of his, um, you know, out of his mind. 6, 1, and 10. And I know that's not a high score to say he played out of his mind. But if you watched how he, what he was doing, watched how he was able to disrupt everything that IG was doing in this. Looks great. So... We'll go and see game two in just a moment. I'll be back with that for you shortly as I'm your caster, B-Cop, joined here by my thoughts. As uh, we'll be back in just a moment. one nothing in favor of Vici. Game two coming up to you next. Stay right there. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> 